Good morning. This is technically, I, I would say our first day of winter, even though it's December, whatever it is, fifth, sixth, I don't know. Who's, who's keeping count? And I would count this as our first day of winter because it's technically really our first snow that is of any significance. And it's not really coat weather today. 
because it's not that cold. But tomorrow is supposed to be like a high of six, a low of minus five or something like that. So this will be the first time of 2021. 20, I shouldn't say that because 2021 goes way back to last January, February, March, etc. But it'll be the first day going into 2022 that I have to actually plow snow. So it'll probably be kind of nice because I haven't really had an opportunity much this year to operate my Kubota. And it should feel pretty good because I spent the last almost six years paying for it. And it's, it's kind of nice that once you finally get a machine like that paid for, it just seems to run better, right? Yeah, but I got to tell you, it's just beautiful out here. I mean, the wind is really, really howling, but it's, it's still nice. It's really nice. Have a look.
It's been a while. It's been a, quite a while since I've made a video. There really hasn't been a whole lot going on here. We've been uh, kind of consumed with doing the garden cleanup. We have the, the three gardens in the greenhouse and this time of year or before the fall, let's just say the fall of the first snow, we like to get all the gardens harvested and cleaned up so that we don't have as much, let's just say, in the spring to do. Especially living here in north central Minnesota, the spring just brings so much joy in outdoor activities like fishing and hiking and biking and camping and things like that. You just kind of lose interest in gardening and yard work and <laughs> those kinds of things. So I uh, try to consume myself in the fall doing nothing more than preparing everything for the spring. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. One thing that I do enjoy, and this is our first snow of any significance, I really enjoy riding my track loader, my SVL 75-2 Kubota. That's a 74 horsepower diesel engine and so it, yeah it has plenty of power and it's plenty of comfort I might add. I really enjoy the the heat and the air-conditioned cab and my big giant snow bucket. I just I can't tell you how much I I love having a big snow bucket. In years past I just used the standard dirt bucket that came with the machine and it seemed you know after a while I just got tired because it obviously took twice as long to uh, clear snow and I have quite an area of snow I need to clear. Well I don't have to clear the whole area I just I like to do it because I can do it in comfort now. In years past I used to just clear the snow with my Arctic cat with a it's a ATV and I had a little snow plow for it and obviously you know it being an ATV it didn't have a cab or anything so I froze my took us off and I'd go in and out in and out in and out and it didn't really do that good of a job for the kind of property that I have and it's a carbureted engine so it didn't have fuel injected so if it wasn't kept indoors or in a heated shop or anything which it wasn't at the time it was really hard to start and some years I couldn't get it started at all until I brought the battery inside and warmed it up as well as uh, putting a heater of sorts on the engine so it, it took like a half an hour to 45 minutes to, to get the thing started just to plow snow which also added to the misery index <laughs> let's just say but anyway uh, I really appreciate having this Kubota it's been a real blessing to us it's taken us five years to pay for it but now that it is paid for it just seems to run so much better I can tell you that it only has 206 hours on it and I've uh, babied it probably more than I should have given the type of machine that it is but nonetheless it's a lifetime machine and I don't mind now coming out and clearing snow even when there isn't a whole lot like, like today I you know we had a a middle amount let's just say middle amount and being two to two to five inches something like that it's worth clearing because if you don't you just drive over it and over it and over it and pack it down pack it down it just kind of makes it a little harder to clear the next time or if you get a foot or, or better of snow but the days uh, are going by really fast it's hard to believe that uh, Christmas is right around the corner Candy has been doing a lot of uh, food preparation, food storage, canning, 
things like that from the garden. We don't go grocery shopping a whole lot. Most of the food that we consume here is uh, grown. We, we, we grow it in our gardens. That's not, not to say that we don't go grocery shopping, because we do, but by, by and large, we, we eat 70% of uh, what we grow, and we give away about 30%. And our grocery shopping a lot of times is limited to staples like flour, sugar, things, you know, things that you just can't grow. Coffee, the most important thing. But, uh, like I said, I really haven't felt like uh, videotaping anything. We're retired and doing a lot of relaxing, so every once in a while I get in the mood. And I really enjoy uh, videotaping our camping and fishing experiences and and adventures and things like that because I can look back on them in the years to come and the kids can see them. Family, neighbors, friends, and all that stuff is, uh, is kind of a sharing experience. But uh, this is just an update just to let you all know that we're still here and uh, we're still working away through our retirement. finished and it's snowing again which is typical anyway I'll try not to wait so long between videos I'll try to do better so it's like a real YouTube channel but it came out pretty nice So I hope this day finds you all blessed. And I hope to see you all again soon. So God bless. Take care. I'll try not to fall. I kind of look like Santa Claus now, don't I? That's the look I'm going for. I don't know how long I'll keep it. Maybe not at all. We'll see.